Hello SEO friends, today I'm going to show you guys the new update that we added to the map pack toolbox for the GU Circle KML uh, tool. Uh, we have a point of interest, we added the point of interest with driving directions to the custom map or map of the rings, whatever you guys want to call it. Um, so uh, just to be clear guys, this is not a magic bullet. It's not going to rank you number one on three uh, on top three right away. Uh, it's not how many pinpoints you do. It's all about the strategy that you use it after you create it and how you try to drive traffic to it and map embeds and basically uh, help with the proximity ranking and location authority of your business. I personally do it once uh, once a month. There's a lot of people do stacking and you know they have multiple ways to build them. I'm just gonna show you a tool how to build it and you'll decide how you wanna build it and uh, what strategy you wanna use. And I'm gonna share what I do basically. It's just a piece of my local SEO puzzle. I have to work on this puzzle once a month and just create one keyword with a custom map and drive map embeds to it. That's simply the, the, the tool that I use. This is not, uh, that's simply why I use this tool. It's simply not gonna index, I mean, it's not gonna uh, be indexed as people think. A lot of people ask me about indexing. Google crawl these if you have enough embeds and enough traffic coming to it. They're gonna crawl it, but it's not gonna be, in, it's, it's gonna be indexed inside the database. It's not gonna be indexed on the Google SERP basically, it's totally different things. Google crawl things, sometimes decide not putting them on the SERP, but the data is there, the data has been crawled and the data has been passed to uh, uh, to the Google algorithm, right? So today I'm gonna show you a tool uh, after you log into my pack toolbox and log into your, um, the tool we're gonna talk about, the Geo Circle KML. I'm going to show you guys how I build it pretty quick. Uh, first of all, I try to put the business address. Today, we're going to do the the business address to uh, the Mediterranean restaurant. Then we put the business name. And here is the main keyword. So the most important in, in, in this is keyword number one, which is the main keyword. And the main keyword is gonna act uh, as the meta title as well for the map. And I'll show you later what I, what I mean. But in this case, I'm just gonna change this to catering near me to this business service, three different cities on the border. They're very close, they're five miles radius. So catering near uh, Juliet, I'm just gonna list the, uh, Business the the cities Shorewood and Plainfield Plainfield Illinois and then keyword number two then you're gonna list all the supporting keywords that you want to support if you notice right here as well I'm trying to focus on the near me because in the restaurant business and this niche it's very important a lot of people search for the near me. In there and here where is the business description i just updated it made it a bigger uh, area to input um there's different strategies that people put in there i left it empty for you guys to do what you know decide what you want to put in there uh you know mostly the nap information website uh, url the social media links uh, your youtube channel um, and any any other relevant information. So I have mine ready right here. I'm just gonna copy and paste it and you'll see what I did. Um, actually, I should have the phone number right here. So I'm just gonna add the phone number. Oh. So you have the business name, the website URL, we have the address and we have the phone number and the five, um, whatever supporting keywords you want to put in here. Uh, I like to list them like that. I know just uh, as uh, as one by one keyword by line. And then you have the map, uh, the Google map listing. They have a small description with social media links. Um, and uh, I have a YouTube video as well. And here is the new update. Optional, you could add map uh, 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 point of interest similar to this one's right here. You can see I have airports with directions. I have uh, 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 That's the Juliet uh, Secretary state so official website. So listen, let's let's do something different a little bit right here. So we got airports and I want to have clinics which is our um, Let's do hospital Oops You gotta click on it and uh, let's do police stations. 
let's do schools um i don't know if we have uh, airport hospitals pol pol uh, police stations primary schools um in this case we could get um uh, you know some medical um, dentists um so yeah that that should be we got the hospital we got i don't know if urgent care is it gonna be uh no insurance agency we could do that so that's just you know whatever strategy that i use in but this is gonna create 20 uh for each category is gonna uh up to 20 um a point of interest and it's going to be listed on there uh we have the choose your desired radius i mean you get five miles for one circle i usually use 15 miles just i think it's enough for it it's a three circles with 15 mile radius but you could go uh, up to 20 circles with 100 miles if you want to uh, uh, be aware that it's going to take a little bit longer to uh to finish and then you click on generate basically the KML file. And here, what is it doing on the back end? First, it's gathering all the points, the map center point, getting all the points. And then it's going to get all the point of interest, uh, which is right here. We're going to have about 120 points of interest. And all of these P uh, POIs is going to be uh, have a, d a direct uh, driving direction to your uh, to your business. To the map center point so be aware here uh it's gonna say a hundred percent but still it's gonna take another tw uh, two minutes three minutes max to create the actual map and then you'll be able to download the KML file um i'll give you some more information on what to do with it uh after you create it after you create the custom map i do have a couple of videos and uh, when you sign up for the toolbox uh map pack toolbox that shows uh, how I do it and which softwares I use to be, to be able to create those. All right, and should be ready anytime right now. Ta-da, here we go. So we got the KML file, you download the file and then save it. Let me start a new map just for you guys to see it. And then you click import. And then you either click on drag or you upload, you find it, and then you upload it. So here's the map. So, yep, there's a lot of information right here. You know, um, I don't usually do that much, but I'm doing it for this video. I'm not doing that many point of interest. I usually do just, it depends on which niche, a couple, three points of interest, and then uh, that should do it. But as you can see here, all the airports, and we have uh, the police stations, and uh oh because i put the insurance agency so we have a lot of agencies all right and if some of them you're gonna say oh there's no driving directions but actually there is because um if you see if you zoom in you'll see it's a different color so it will take different colors sometimes you can't really see it unless you zoomed in so here is the map now the first step that we need to do is to get um, actually, the first thing, if you need to search the business, you need to add the My Business, Google My Business, inside the custom map. So we're going to do Umba, Mediterranean Grill, and then I'm going to click right here, Add to Maps, and then I'm going to change. I like to change the color of this so I could, you know, see it a little bit better. Okay. And then the first thing, the second thing I do is the map title and the description. The map title would be the uh, main keyword for this. So the main keyword on this is catering near Juliet, Shorewood, and Plainfield. Maybe we could put in Illinois. All right, and then we copy and paste the actual uh, description that we talked about earlier as you can see right here it's actually on the description and i like to have the url link uh showed up here which is going to be listed in the meta description as well but that's the first thing you do now you can add more things here you could play you could add more directions from the map center point north south just just a little bit from different points of 
uh, of these supporting keywords, the Mediterranean uh, restaurant, Mediterranean food near me. So this could be, uh, you know, a complete one. And then you could save it and embed it. What I'd like to do, I use Web 2.0 map embeds uh, that will, uh, you know, I use Money Robot. Uh, I've been using it from 2016. I do have aged uh, accounts there, over 7,000 accounts. I do have a lot of uh, a lot of them on there. It does help with um, building traffic to these to these maps because what you really need to do for this map is driving more traffic to it and get that view number up right here. If you see, that's the view number up. So the more you get it on index, it's not a direct. Um, it's not a direct tier one uh, to your Google My Business. And even the Web 2.0 backlinks that you're going to do as a map embed, never put it to your main website or to your customer website URL. I always send it to the GMB or I send it to this custom map. So if that's map embed uh, uh, in, in those about 300, 400 uh, blogs, it does help Google to uh, uh, give it more attention and basically crawl it and get all the info that we have in there it does help with the proximity ranking um you know i, I see a lot of dots that have been you know red for a while as soon as i do this they turn to orange and green shortly so uh yeah again it's not a magic bullet but it, it, in my case it does help me when i do do it as um you know a full puzzle that creates the uh, uh the location authority for the map so yeah Today, hopefully this video is uh, helpful for you guys. So um, to recap what we did today, uh, I just showed you guys how uh, GeoCircle KML generator uh, update, how we changed the inputs right here and how we added the point of interest. And please let me know guys, if you have any questions or uh, suggestions, or you, know, you have a different strategy that you guys use for, for these, uh, please let me know. You know we could um, we could update the tool or create a different tool that that will help uh, help all of us. All right. Thank you and have a good day.